hi everyone so lately i have been a bit sad i've been a bit down and i just feel like i need to change that so i've decided i'm gonna have a glow up and i'm gonna do everything that i can possibly do to glow up and also the weather's been really muggy and like cold and like off and like gloomy so that's just putting me in an even worse mood but yeah i'm about to change that so i'm actually going to siobhan's work right now Ooh. so shiv works at sparkle smile and beauty by h yeah i'm going there now to get some stuff done so i'll see you when i'm in sparkle smile welcome <laughs> hi <laughs> Okay, so Siobhan is going to do body contouring for me. She's going to do my booty first. That's a bit inappropriate, so I'm not going to put that up. And then she's going to do my tummy. Yes, we're going to make that stomach glass. <laughs> So we're about to do Leah's stomach. We're body contouring her stomach. So I'm just going to apply the ultrasound gel. That's a lot. Yeah, because you're fat. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. I look so long. But. Oh, that's so loud. That's so loud. What? <laughs> so, Leah's currently. If she can hear the ultrasound waves. we're going to be doing today is we're going to be doing a microdermabrasion, a deep cleanse, we're going to use a scraper to remove some of the blackheads and do some extractions and we'll also be doing an alginated face mask and also lock in some hydration. So it's Leah from the future and I actually have a sponsorship that I'd love to tell you about because I'm just going to say it, you can't glow up without smelling good. So today I would like to present to you Native deodorant honestly this is so good i have been using it every day since i've gotten it so it comes in three scents cucumber and mint coconut and vanilla and lavender and rose it is a natural deodorant and my favorites are probably that i've been using is coconut and vanilla and cucumber and mint and i've honestly been using them both together so i'll put like the coconut one and then i'll put the mint one because they're just oh they're just they smell so good and it stays like that all day so it's amazing these are paraben free and aluminium free what i look for in a deodorant is that they make you smell good and it lasts all day and these have proven to me that they have lasted all day prior to using the native deodorant i would use the spray-ons and i felt like when i would put on the spray-on deodorants i don't know if this has happened to you guys but i would spray and then like the particles would like come down and like get on my clothes and they'd leave like a stain but these ones like they're not sticky they obviously don't do that they dry really fast as well and they are vegan and cruelty free i know i'm not vegan anymore i'm vegetarian but you know it's always good to use vegan products and if you want to get one of these deodorants and smell good and glow up like me you can save 33 percent on your first native deodorant pack and you get free shipping so just be sure to use my code i'll put it up here on the screen and i'll leave all the links and the information in the description below if you would like to purchase but i really recommend it's just made me feel so much better and refreshed and i just smell so good every day I just, I look crazy, but it smells like, I can't even tell you how good it smells. But yeah, ooh, I'll let you get on with the video and make sure to check it out because it is amazing.
All right, so as you can probably tell, it's like a couple days later. But yeah, I'm about to go get my nails done with Vicky. She is the owner of Sus Nail Artistry. Honestly, the best nail artist. I know, but yeah, I'm just going to run in, go get my nails done. And I honestly have no idea what I'm going to get done yet. So we'll figure that out when we're in there. Okay, so I'm here and Vicky just took off my nails. They had lasted ages. She did my last pair of nails and as you can see like the tips here that's from like the old nails where I got at a different place but the bottom here is like a lot stronger and that's because she uses like, you feel like yeah so she like she doesn't have to like file down my natural nails or damage them or anything they're getting a lot healthier which is really good because as you know they used to always break <laughs> But now they're like a lot more stronger. Yeah, so now she's just um, sizing up my nails and we're gonna do something really fun. We're thinking of like a butterfly, like cloud kind of look. But if you look at her studio, it's so cool. I just saw before, like look at that hand up there. Like it looks real. And like all of these nails, like even her own nails, she does herself. But yeah, she's really professional. And I'll show you the process of how we do my nails. that's the nails all on they gel down they don't hurt they don't leave that like after pain you know when your like fingers ache yeah i just love how they look so now we're going to get into like the painting and making them special okay so they've been painted a bit the gorgeous baby pink so i'm just letting that dry and she's about to do some nail art and i've never actually had nail art before and look how cute that little plate is it's so cute it's like a pearl I've never had nails this good in my life. Like she did this by hand. How is this possible? Honestly, the most talented nail artist I've ever seen. If you need your nails done, you know who to go to because these are like insane. And like the little moon. They're so good. Thank you. Yay. <laughs> Hi everyone. So it's the next day. I'm sorry. I look like a mess. I look like a male but yeah i'm like not over my nails they actually look like insane so today i'm going to get my toes done and i'm also going to get my face threaded so i'm not excited for that because it hurts so yeah i'll see you when i'm at the shops getting my toes and face done Sorry, I just popped a pimple there. Oh my god, I couldn't help myself. But I'm finally in the final stages of my glow up. I'm feeling refreshed. I'm feeling good. And yesterday when I was at the shop, I picked up my glasses. <gasps> wow, how do I look? <laughs> it's a bit weird for me. I don't mind them. I chose like the cheapest frame so they're like not the cutest but yeah I think you can tell they're blue lights and yeah I've only been using them for one day and can't really tell a difference yet but we will see how that goes all right so I'm gonna get into blowing up so I want to do some really natural cute makeup and I'm going to try and like kind of curl my hair a bit with the straightener so Wait, I don't know how it works. How do you... I don't know how to curl with a straightener. Oh, I just fucked it. Oh my god. Ooh, that looks terrible. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna like put my hair away. Because that was a fail. And I think I might come back and curl it afterwards. Because that just looks like silly. I tanned like for one hour this morning. So I'm not very dark at all. But I mixed these two together. And yeah, I'm not really thriving. Also, these are my 
feet. Look how, okay, I'm sorry if you hate feet and I'm actually disgusted in you if you have a foot fetish. Don't tell me that's like not cute though. I made them match, but yeah. All right, let's get into my makeup. So I'm just gonna aim for like a really cute glowing vibe. Yeah, so I'm using the MAC Prep and Prime on my face. Before I went to the dentist, my teeth were all good. Uh, and my uni has been canceled and it's being put all online now. So that's exciting for me because I love being at home, but I will probably not get much done. It's my Oh, that's the Mario Badesco. Badescu. And now the MAC Strobe Cream. A lot of my freckles have begun to disappear because I have not been seeing the sun. Which is kind of unfortunate because now I can't really draw over them. So I'm just going to be freckleless. And yeah, I am honestly really happy I got my face threaded yesterday because it did not hurt hardly as much as it did the previous time that I got it threaded. Because like the hair wasn't as thick okay so i'm just going to talk about something really random right now my friend mia shout out if you're watching she has synesthesia and i know for a fact that she actually has it okay so she has the numbers and colors one i think but i remember when i was in year seven so when i was like 13 i remember she said that my favorite number eight was the color purple and recently when i saw her i tested her and i'm like so so what color is number eight to you and she said purple and i'm like oh my Oh my god so it's actually like it's a thing and i was thinking <laughs> i probably sound so silly but i have this weird phenomenon with like songs so i'll give you an example i don't think this is classified as synesthesia i think it's just like a weird like association thing but the first time i hear a particular song every time i hear that song in the future i will visualize in my head where i was when i first heard that song so for example the song kiss you by one direction every time i hear that song i visualize being in my old house backyard filming a video star <laughs> or like what's another song autumn leaves by chris brown i remember being i remember being in this house when i was like 15 and like for example my lefts and rights when people like ask me what's left what's right i experienced this a lot when i was driving when i started to learn how to drive when my mom would say turn left i would think in my head and i would visualize this one intersection when i was like i don't know probably like five and i remember learning my lefts and rights at that intersection in the car and now every time i think of left and right and i look at my hands i can visualize that intersection and i know where that intersection is now like and if i pass it i'll be like that's where i live my you know it's weird so let me know if anyone else has that a lot of the songs when i hear them i think of being in my car like at a particular place like maybe some area on the freeway or like a specific intersection or whether or not it's near my house or my old house or my dad's house i don't know but a lot of the like visual memories I have are in cars and I think that's because most of the time when I listen to music I'm in a car but yeah it's weird I wonder how that works and yes everything is listed in the description all of the products but yeah I hope everyone's keeping positive with the coronavirus I really don't like to get political but my friend Julia who's in Italy she's on lockdown and I know she's finding it really hard but you know everyone's in the same position and it will be okay and we're all gonna get through it I know it's bad but now that this has happened I'm sure like a lot of more preventative measures will be taken for the future so it's always good to be positive and optimistic about a not so positive situation and also if you're self quarantined or whatever it can be a really good time to be creative I've seen a lot of people have been painting and taking up new hobbies and my mum's like maybe you should start knitting rather not but i think it can be a good opportunity to get shit done you know i'm taking this shade main event from the kylie x balmain palette and i'm just gonna roughly put that all over my crease and a, a tiny bit of top model and i'm gonna put that a bit lower in the crease and i'm gonna take this white shade from the kylie bronze palette and just like lightly dust that underneath my brow I'm just gonna try and blend that all over my lid, you know, to give myself a very matte eye. And then grabbing a eyebrow brush, I'm going to create a brown wing with eyeshadow. And my friend Siobhan has been doing this and I like how it looks. So shout out to you, bitch. I'm taking Nausea Glow in Barcelona. I'm just going to put this all over very lightly though. But yeah, I want to talk about this song that I have been loving and you guys might already know about. It's, I think, only on YouTube. <laughs> 
Nicki Minaj, Nicki Minaj. Good evening. Nicki Minaj. Starship's Canon in D remix. Honestly, it's a vibe. I've been saying that so much recently since my last video, but oh my god, like, like you'd think it's like a joke, but it's actually like, it just sounds like so perfect together. And I don't know about you, but I, I'm not gonna lie, I love classical music. <laughs> I used to play piano, piano, and one of my favorite songs is Canon in D. I had like one of those keyboards. It, it was like one of those songs like on the buttons that you would press and it would like play the song. And you would like pretend to play it, but you weren't actually playing it. Honestly, like might be my wedding song. I also love the song Starships. So I recommend everyone go listening to it. Let's go to the beach, each Ninky Minjaj. Who am I? Let's go to the beach, beach. Ninky Minjaj. Such a vibe. So I'm going to set this very lightly, no baking, with some Laura Mercier just on the tip of the brush. Contouring and bronzing with the Anastasia Beverly Hills in medium. So since my facial and experiences at Sparkle Smile Beauty, I honestly feel snatched. I feel skinny. I'll show you now what my tummy looks like. It looks not bad, not bad. So I definitely recommend. And I'm gonna grab some of this shade and I'm gonna put that under my eyes. And I'm also going to grab the eyebrow pencil and I'm going to extend my inner corner here, just a tad, to like give it that cat look from afar. And I'm also gonna darken up the little wing we made before. I wanna be super glowy, so I'm just gonna go straight in with the Fenty Diamond Veil highlighter that I have broken. I'm just gonna pat that in everywhere. I'm gonna grab some on this brush to put on here. And I'm also gonna put it on my inner corners. On the top of my lip, the nose. I'm gonna be glowing from within. Here, you know, never too much highlight. What can you do? I'm gonna line my lips with Kylie X Balmain like that. And I'm going to fill it in with the exposed lip liner. And I've been loving this lately. I did it in the Madison Beer video for the first time. And I really like how like natural they turned out. Like it didn't look too much like I was like wearing an actual lipstick. And I have some of these lashes that I have used before. They're like individual stick-ons. So first I'm going to put on mascara. I've always kind of been blessed with natural long lashes but they're just not very thick and it is very time consuming to add individual lashes but it's actually a technique that that celebrities like to use so i just put on the nars mascara and i'm gonna put a bit of the Stila mascara i might put a tiny bit on my bottom i'm not really blessed with bottom lashes though only top lashes but that's okay <laughs> so i'm using a tiny brush to like actually contour oh and it really deepens it up i look crazy and then I'm just going to blend that out a bit more. I don't know if I've shown you guys, but I've got this duo lash glue and it comes in this. And it just makes it like so freaking easy. And it dries really fast too, but it runs out a bit faster. What you do is you grab it like this. And then you look down and you place it. Okay, so I just put on some blush and as you can see, this is the eye with the lashes compared to without. So I'm going to see you when I do this eye and then yeah, I might put on some gloss and I'm going to draw on some freckles. So I might draw a few freckles now so you guys know how I do it, but I've done it in a previous video. I just kind of dot them around my nose and like twist. A few here, a few there. And then with the eyebrow pencil from before, I'll grab it and I'll grab this and I will just look some more. So I'm just going to pat them in with a powder brush and they will also fade as they go, but yeah. Okay, so I have lashes on, both sides done. And now I'm going to attempt to curl my hair. Ah, ah. What? what did I just do? Oh God. All right, I'm just going to get my curler far out. So I'm going to be using this bad boy. So what you do, you grab your hair. Oh, too much hair. Does this give you guys anxiety? Too much hair. What? I don't even have much hair. There we go. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous curl. Why didn't I just do this in the beginning? I'm going to kind of ruffle my fingers through the curls. Oh, that looks really nice. Wow, why didn't I do this? Oh, 
Oh, that was too much hair. See, it can be a bit like nerve wracking. Why? I think it was too long. I feel like this is cute. Let's add some gloss. This is the Estee Lauder. Nice and juicy. Right, and I'm gonna change my top. Okay, I put on this. Ow! I put on this really sweet, cute top from my Princess Polly haul. I haven't seen myself with makeup with glasses, so are you ready? Blue light vibes. How does that TikTok dance go? I'm kind of vibing. Okay, I feel good. Everyone needs a glow up and everyone needs to smell good. Let's put some of this on. I really, really needed to just feel cute again. I just feel refreshed and I feel like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders. So I really recommend doing a glow up. I'm just automatically in such a better mood. <laughs> get in oh my god there was a wasp the other day in my sink and i was home alone and i had to kill it by myself because if that wasp hurt my dogs then my mom would hurt me <laughs> thanks for watching you know what to do like subscribe follow me at leah holton underscore on instagram and without the underscore on tiktok if i continue my tiktok i don't know i'm not very good at it and i don't really use snapchat so don't even bother adding me on snapchat because i don't use it but you can if you want at leah holton with two ends and yeah but yeah this was honestly like one of my most fun videos to film i feel really good now and i'm really happy thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video thank you everyone who was a part of this video shiv sassnail artistry sparkle smile beauty native but yeah thanks for watching hope you enjoyed see you in the next video bye